Welcome back to Hit Points Gaming. You're here with Chris and Corey. Today we're going to do a flash review of Time Stories by Space Cowboys. Uh, it's pretty much a review of the game in five or less minutes. You think we can do it? I think we can. I hope so. All right, ready? ready? Let's do Go. it. All right, so in Time Stories, you are a agent of the future that travels back into time to solve certain cases. You actually transport yourself into another body of a person. Okay. And in this game, the base game, we go back to an asylum in 1921. Some of the people that you can become are this really good looking uh, female right here, or a little girl who likes to bite people, a guy who sniffs a little bit too much candy, or just a really old mean lady. Okay? So depending on who you pick, you get certain attributes. And as you go throughout the mansion in this one, you find yourselves in different rooms with really great artwork. What you have to decide as a team is where each person's going to go. And once you do that, every player is going to look at their location, look for clues on the back, read what happens to them. Sometimes you might run into a test, whether it's combat or wisdom or talking Puzzles, to somebody. Like yeah. yes, right. And based on the character that you picked, you have to roll certain stats. You roll the dice, you try and get successes to get through these shields, or that's like the challenge to get through, to move on. Maybe you gain an item card. Maybe you get to unlock a new area of the mansion, and then you move on from there. Everything you do costs time. Right. Time sense. stories. Time yeah. stories. So as you go about your mission, time is going to be tracking down. Once it hits down to zero, the agency doesn't have enough money to keep you there, and you get teleported back into present day. Okay. If you don't have the mission successful, guess what? You go back in and do it again. But now I know where everything is. I have more knowledge. You keep going through that until you solve or maybe fail the mission. Right, and that's what I love. That's kind of what I like about the story, like you said. The artwork is awesome. Um, so, like, you'll want to look at the top of the card. You'll want to look at the back of the card if you're there, you know? Mm -hmm. And this point's really cool, too, because... You can see there's two people here. So two people would actually read the back of this card and then refer what they saw to the rest of the team. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and where this person read just this one. So now they're going to have to play telephone pretty much. Take how they learn, what they learned, they read, they saw in the back of that card and tell everyone else. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a problem too. And it's also what makes it fun to me is did you see everything on the back of that card? You might have, you might have overlooked a picture, yep. a little end, a little pentagram on the corner or something, you know? Like, but am I going to waste time going and checking you? Right. That's the thing. That's it. Because then now I can come here and look at it myself, but that's a waste of time. That's the currency in this game. Mm -hmm. Yes. The map is awesome. It really does teleport you into this person, into this, this environment that you're in. It's the Asylum's map. You go in here, like you know, if you look at this card, you'll see a woman there. You can assume you're going to go back to that card and you're going to talk to her. If you go to this spot, you assume you're going to go to that table. So like the front of the card really does matter and what you may be doing, what you're going to be doing on that space. Mm -hmm. So you kind of then figure out what you might be doing there, which I really like and, and that's really cool about it. Right, and every scenario, of course, other expansions, they developed a really great rule set for this base game. So all these different tokens for the, the, you know, the first one, they mean different things, whether it's a bullet, whether it's cocaine even in another scenario all of this changes so the the base game did a really great foundation to add other expansions i even think well in the beginning they did a poor rule set of the base game but they have since changed it and updated it it's not as clunky anymore so i really think they improved it after the base game um, one thing that i dislike about it and we found a way to fix it is um, you will eventually always win this game so you're not truly pressured of, of winning it in the first or second jump. Well, everyone does. Everyone wants to. Everyone you know? wants to, right. right. And you do get scored at the end. But one thing that I found out is we played this game multiple times with other groups, and every group's trying to beat another person, trying to get there quicker. So if you have that element, it, it helps this game out. Yeah, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason, like you said, too, is there why I don't like this game. This base game is 50 bucks. You need this base game to play any of the expansions. Most of the expansions are around $25. But you need this $50 game here to play the rest of them. Now, once you've experienced everything here, why would you come back and experience this yet again? You know, whereas you can go out and spend $50 on another game and play, play it multiple, multiple times. times. This is a one-time experience, and I think it kind of suffers because of that. But yet, it's so good. It's such a good spent $50. Bucks, totally you know? worth it. It's a brand new way of playing a game and experience it. You will remember... The one time you play this, you will remember you the mission will. and and some of the key highlights of it. You know that's what makes it really good. Um, to correct, only being able to play it one time. I've actually played through this eight times. 
Now, me physically as a player, no, but I've taught this game to seven different groups, again, to keep that competitive level up, but it allows me to get more of my money's worth of this game. Yes. I don't feel like I wasted 50 bucks. I've had eight great nights with different groups of friends and to see how they solve this but game. You are the minority on that, but I think that's a really valid point of how you get more experience out of it. And that's our review of Time Stories in under five minutes.